Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hobbit, today joined by Rich of Anomyces, today cracking the most hyped, or at least highest rated beer from Bottle Logic. Uh, I thought this was long gone, but we were lucky to land one in a trade uh, uh, really cheaply, which was awesome. Well, in general, it's really, if you trade Bottle Logic, it's very easy to get. It's affordable, but they have distribution and all this, and mm. they get all over the place, and they make At least awesome in California. Beers. Yeah, and they, <laughs> they make awesome beers. They do. I mean, the last one that blew my mind from them, like, was Fort of Mivoso, which was just crazy. Yeah. Gem condition was awesome. But not the same level. It's also a different beer. I didn't but, try it. Before. No, but it this should be intense. So we're cracking a bottle of Hypermash Hydra. So Hypermash Hydra again is the highest rated beer they've done. So if we look at, at bottles within the last two years, yeah, and in bottled releases as well. Yeah. I, I think maybe some of the first rounds of FO was yeah, was like Fundamental Forces yeah. seventeen is like. 472 or something yeah this but is yeah and I, I, I don't remember i guess i think this is around around that yeah it's something like that maybe yeah. four six something i can't okay. remember it also doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. but this is a what blend is of double and triple mashed imperial stout that's been aged in bourbon barrels and conditioned on coconut coffee and cinnamon and for the batch of this beer they use two thousand i don't know how big it is but two thousand pounds of coconut and 175 pounds of Columbia Patronus coffee, and then Saigon cinnamon. So, we talked about getting a heart attack after drinking this beer. <laughs> yeah, because of all that coconut. Yeah, you know, thirteen point five percent. At least it's a good way to end life. If yeah, <laughs> death from <laughs> literally death by coconut, like the yeah, Oscar yeah, Blues exactly. beer. Oh man, it just looks yeah. crazy thick. Look how it stains yeah. the glass. Yeah, but it's actually not that completely vulgar, like no, really no. thick um, the anchorage. <laughs> yeah, because that that was vulgar. It's actually pretty fine, like with the coconut. Yeah, it's like fine particles. Yeah, it looks really nice though. It's thick, sludgy, and black, and yeah. not the like often with heads on these barrel aged beers from from at least a lot of American breweries. They are like that. They're like a little bit flimsy, but I think it's also mm. when you go up in alcohol, and again, this is coconut as well, you know, that also definitely yes, just a lot of disrupt the head attention, yeah. you know, yeah, so, but it looks, it looks really nice, it looks yeah. like what you'd want from a thick, big stab, so let's check out the aroma. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> that is time okay, coconut. Yeah. I was just taught, <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is like, this is, about to say. <laughs> this is, it's vibes of 10 years, or maybe not so yeah. much 10 years, but yeah, maybe. Because it's got more of a barrel character than, say, a Sacrifice, but yeah. it's same, it's the same coconut thing. Like, but this is more stouty, like, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is like thick, heavy brownies <laughs> and and co coconut, yeah, like Dromike, caramelized coconut. If you don't know Dromike, we talk about it all the time. Bake one. Search for yeah. Danish dream cake. It's super simple. Yeah. It's a sponge cake with a caramelized coconut topping, which which is made with bonfarin uh, in Danish, which is more similar to Moscovado sugar than brown, American brown sugar, if you're yeah. outside of Denmark. And I know brown sugar is quite different, and but it's Moscovado sugar is very thick and crumbly and sticky. That's often something like that. Uh, and it's just, that's what I'm getting, that coconut top, that like really caramelized, sticky, almost slightly umami coconut. Yeah, but again, then like mm. heavy brown, like dense brownies, but also Brownie better. to me, almost like a rye whiskey thing, yeah. more than like, Ooh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. cinnamon in that. your face. I think that's because, yeah, it's the cinnamon. The yeah. spiciness yeah. of cinnamon, cinnamon paired with bourbon, yeah. making it seem like it's almost rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. Loads of vanilla too, like. Yeah. And that must be all barrel, but man, this is crazy thick and rich. Yeah, and I so, love the barrel, you know, that yeah. it's warming. You really yeah. sense the barrel that it's there. It's yeah. not like... And it's definitely candy, fudgy yeah. barrel, like huge caramel toffee. You know, it's fudge. not a kid's barrel is imperial stout. It's yeah. actually something that, you know, is potent. Man, I can't get the McKay out of my head now. <laughs> Danish dream cake yeah. for days. Yeah, with a bit of, yeah, and then brownie there is... and... An Spices. undercurrent of coffee. It's almost like a coffee liqueur yeah. because it's to the sweeter side, but I don't think it's a ton. It's the, yeah. definitely the coconut that really shines. But I it's have also, a bit of a hard time getting or yeah, picking the, up. The, the coconut is definitely really dominant. I don't know when they released this in 2020, but yeah. people are saying it still drinks great. It smells fantastic, yeah. as Chuds from Chuds Barbecue would say. Yeah. Right, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. <laughs> That's one rich motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, coffee's definitely there on the flavor. Oh man. Wow. Oh, it's much more balanced than I expected, yeah. actually. It's not crazy sweet. And I think that might be the it's thing sweet, with sweet, but yeah. It's sweet. It's, yeah, not, but it's not crazy. Sweet. No, no. It, I feel like it has more mm. like Barrett's spirit vibes than yeah. Anchorage beers does because there's a huge warming bourbon flavor. I love it. Down. And I, yeah, me too. Because <laughs> yeah. it really cuts all that sweet yeah. fudginess. Yeah. That is fucking and, like, awesome. Just nice, like almost like, as I said, like rye whiskey spice mm -hmm. throughout more than actual like cinnamon, cinnamon. I do get the actual cinnamon, cinnamon on yeah, the tip but, of my tongue. Yeah. But, and it's almost like a cinnamon vanilla frosting or something like that. Yeah. We had... Uh, so in Denmark, some people make squash cake, which is just like, this, it's the same thing as carrot cake, just with squash uh, or uh, courgette. It, the frosting on top of that was like a cinnamon frost, a vanilla mm. frosting. Yeah, it, I see it just it when it's kind of like that. Yeah, I see just when it hits your tongue, yeah. it has like a, but, but it's not like that offensive kind of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I think people who don't like cinnamon enjoy beer like cinnamon for real, you know, they, will be very happy with this because it's a spicy cinnamon nuance yeah. rather than like in your face. Almost like peppery in some ways or just like, uh, yeah. I'm maybe just there's also, rye whiskey. But yeah, yeah, but maybe there's also, I was about to say, maybe there's also rye in, in part of the mash for one of the beers in yeah. here. Um, yeah, it could be. But it's really thick and creamy. And really it's rich and thick. dense. Uh, yeah. And then that's like that huge on, on yeah. just like pure... A bourbon flavor like that like candy as yes, which like really fudgy caramelly vanilla but also slightly charry bourbon vibes this, this beer is pretty insane mm -hmm. actually um it really opens up the more you drink it too i think it's, it tastes like i don't know it's like anchorage cross like anchorage like just extreme beer yeah but with a bit more balanced mixed with i don't know who could we compare it to like American brew that does stuff. Yeah, maybe you had the veil souls. stuff. That or veil, yeah. 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 Because apparently their style is also very much like this. But yeah, everything, no. even yeah. without adjuncts. <laughs> yeah. I will say though that was maybe a, th this is a tad thicker than that beer. Yeah. But it's around yeah. the same tad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I but see. but it's more like the the way it's put together. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The I, combination I think actually, of flavors and, and, and also because the barrel is big on this one and the, the veil, it, it's devastated by the way, yeah. was had a big barrel presence, mm. just like Anchorage barrel it stouts. So it's kind of a fusion of, of these breweries. Yeah. It's almost, maybe that was would be a fun thing to do. It's almost like a chocolate version of a, uh, of a yeah. uh, Domike. Yeah. Like a chocolate Domike. Oh, I want to try and make that. That could mm. be pretty good. Like, or like brownie, sponge cake. brownie Tommy K, like, it's, yeah, yeah. Do a brownie with that Tommy K. Mm -hmm. I think that would work on anything, really. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's just magic, but it's also just sugar, butter, a little bit of milk, and coconut. That's yeah. the topping, but again, then you would have to put a bit of spice just in the like, yeah, you could do that, like a little to, bit of cinnamon if, if you want to emulate this at yeah. least, but put a little bit of cinnamon in the in the top filling, but just a mm. tiny sprinkle. And then maybe if you want it more gentle, use uh, real cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon. Yeah. And uh, not, uh, yeah. Um, and maybe, that's I don't know, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, where did it say it was from? Saigon. So I don't know if Saigon, you also have uh, like uh, real split. cinnamon, so not the uh, cashew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you also grow it there. It could be real cinnamon, this, because it's, not it's softer. Yeah, it's yeah, not super offensive. It's almost like... Um, yeah, real cinnamon, if you smell it and taste it, it's more fragrant. It's almost yeah. like a bit fruity as well. Yeah. And and oddly enough, like even though it, I think in Fireball Whiskey it's cinnamon flavoring, that fragrance smells more like real Ceylon cinnamon than uh, uh, the Kesha bark does. Yeah. But what you grew up with here in Denmark most likely is Kesha bark because that's like the cheap stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but both are still nice if you, <laughs> if you, you know like cinnamon flavors but yeah this is definitely a world-class uh, barrel aged it's a pastry stout but it's a pastry stout with real ingredients and yeah. this is how i want a pastry stout 100%. Yeah. it's uh, extreme it's it's really the extreme pastry yeah. stout is extreme yeah but it's just done as it should be done yeah like it's it must be f extremely hard to do this mm -hmm. it's this is like in insane craftsmanship yeah and and like the one of the big things as well it has umami. There is a umami mm. roasty chari, almost mm. like black cho uh, dark chocolate uh, tone to it from yeah. the base beer. 
and it's Definitely like there's like almost like a licorice vibe yeah. too. Uh, which you it get some cut. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's like it's just a little bit yeah. uh, of a licorice vibe, and I often actually get that with these really hefty double match crazy uh, coconut beers. It's almost like the coconut can accentuate a little bit of a slight muscovado sugary and also lic- umami. Yeah, because like. For some reason, that just happens, and Muscovado mm. sugar has that slightly licorice thing because of the molasses content. So I think that's also part of it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really fucking good. I think I'm enjoying it around the same level as Fort of Bozu, so it's like a 97, 98 or something like that. Yeah. It's world class barrel aged beer. Yeah. Yeah. It's extreme beer, uh, and you have to like you know coconut to like this as well. Mm. But it's just it is. I understand why a lot of people went nuts over this. Yeah. I'd imagine the coffee. I like. I don't. I don't taste coffee really. Like it's it's. Yeah. Maybe a subtle nuance. It's kind of like the coffee flavor you kind of get in mm. in most stouts to me. Uh, I think I definitely coconut is and like just crazy base beer and fudginess and everything is and, and barrel yeah. is more present than coffee. Mm. Yes, it, it it has like a nutty thing, mm. but if it's hard to tell if it's the coffee or something else like the malts or barrel or whatever. Yeah, I think it could be again like there is a coffee liqueur type flavor almost yeah. but that's just also because it's sweet but from what i've heard the the coffee has been like the, the downplayed adjunct yeah with this beer from the beginning yeah. just from what i've heard but yeah yeah because on it was certainly not downplayed no no it was but it was, but it was also like, straight coffee stuff yeah yeah but i don't think it was like crazy crazy coffee. no 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 uh, you also i think going crazy with coffee will also be too much yeah uh, it, but it, I, I don't remember it as being like a huge coffee it was beer, okay, but it was a like it, it had lots of coffee. But it was coffee also done right. It was not yeah. like bell pepper. It was super fudgy. Yeah, like super duper fudgy. Similar kind of base actually to this. Mm. Yeah, Maybe this is something they learned from from uh, from toppling doing yeah. s- doing the stouts like this because it's very different from all the other bottle logic beers. Yeah, uh, but we still have a good handful of bottle logic. It's the to same try. base. Who knows? It could be. <laughs> but we have a good handful of bottle logic to try. So we have uh, the Barty wine. What's it called? Staff of something? Yeah, Staff of Asil. Yeah, that's what, what it's called. And we got a Scatter Signal, which is a coffee stout, but also with marshmallows. And mocha. Mocha coffee stout yeah. thing. And then we have, not my gumdrop something something. It's a, um, it's a Christmas stout, but I think we'll save that for the Christmas calendar, so maybe I should be in charge of America. <coughs> I was just about to, yeah. Swallowed this the wrong way. <laughs> that was why oh, you like shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. For one moment. Um, okay. Yeah. But yeah. And something. we also have lots of other crazy stuff. Yeah, I still have a lot coming. of different stuff. Yeah, and all just on the shelf over yeah. there. I see a bottle of Smortal Barrel Combat. Barrel Souls and Three also. Suns and Trams and... Yeah. Just loads of great beer. <laughs> Yeah, but for once, a lot of stuff that's also from Europe, not something we yeah. traded for. So uh, yeah, this is dope. I'd say Nine, right. I'll say ninety eight. I think yeah, it's, I think so. Yeah. It's it's world class. It's upper echelon. I think this is something. If you want to try this, you should trade for it now, mm. uh, because I think the coffee character is light, and it will get even lighter. And right now, it's like it's a pastry stuff. You want to drink this with where all these ingredients are like. Yeah, but again, it's pastry done right because it doesn't taste fake. No, and yeah. it's thick and it's rich and it's all right. So yeah, really, really it takes good. all the boxes. It is so really good stuff, guys. Definitely check out Hyper Mash Hydra. Trade for it if you can. It's an awesome stout. I still know a lot. Some people have it around. You know, uh, if you're looking to trade, but it's not something you see pop up too much no. at the moment. No, people want to drink it themselves because it's yeah. a great beer I, and it makes sense and it doesn't <laughs> trade high. So yeah. But yeah, if you guys had a chance to try it, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos, and we're going to say cheers. Yep. Cheers. Delicious barrel-aged pastry stout, and see you guys in another video.